she would answer with birdie and five. And then Megan trying to avoid a drop shot again. Rolls in a tough putt at the hard fifth hole. And a second shot at the seventh hole. Grant Boone, Morgan Pressel, Jim Gallagher Jr., Karen Stupples, and Angela Stanford out on the golf course. Jim, take it away. And on the way is her second shot, Karen's with this group. Well, and that one wasn't particularly well struck. It was a bit low off the face, but it's chasing up there nicely. A much nicer place to come in from this right side. Got plenty of green to use. Okay, I like that little bump shot there. So both players come up with pars at the par 5 7th. Don't take advantage of those drives. But Grant, we got plenty of golf to go with. so far this week. So if she can make the turn with any kind of a lead here, she knows she can find some more birdies on the back. A little too heavy handed on that one. Knowing that you're in the final group, you're in contention, and this is your opportunity. Too many awkward tee shots for Megan. She is one of the very best drivers of the golf ball. That's down that speed slide. The left side is down grain mo cut. That's where you try to get it. She's got a nine iron out from 136. Ball is above her feet though, Jim. Such a big difference just coming out of that first cut. Oh. Mm. Comes up there's a little bit of a slope between she and the ball. Slope there, Grant. But this, and these are just the ones that have to go in. Nice. That's a confidence stroke. When it's tough, I don't care where you're playing, but that was uh, not the nine she was looking for. To be fair, the last hole, she was just a, a pay. Just landed right over the front edge in the center of the green, trying to hold something off, it looks like. Okay. Yeah, that'll just hang on right there on the backside. Not a bad shot. And I think another partnership like that is the, the Charlie Hall Adam Woodward one. Very similar in that, you know. Megan is very get up and go, and Jack is very calm, but this has to sit. This has to uh -oh. sit. Uh -oh. oh, that could go off the. And was able to finish the day three ahead. It's her third bogey of the day. No birdies yet. And her three shot lead is gone. Lower ball flight, Jim. Expect this one to chase. Mm -hmm. Wow, 38 feet. He ends, I think, it's 47 feet. That gets right down that down grain. That's going to go as well. Both Doesn't players in the fairway. I, I love this play. I love sticking to the game plan, sticking to the routine. She doesn't probably doesn't know that Jin Young Ko just made bogey. Might have seen her take a drop out of that penalty area, but beautiful shot right here. Might be just the thing to get that first birdie on the scorecard and prepare herself for a big rest of the back nine here. Well, then how do you bounce back from the three putt of the previous mm. hole, too? Correct. That's got to go. So both players have inside five feet for birdies. Back up the hill. Yeah, solid putt. 
Nicely done. Nice birdie. Good bounce back there. Get you back to nine under par. It's not quite match play yet, Karen, but you do have to. Match play forces you to stay present in each and every shot. And that's a good mentality to have out here. Oh. See if that uses that backstop a little bit. It's trying. Nicely done. Oh, wow. Back to back for Megan Kang. Well, we talked about how much better she's played this back nine than the front nine, but wow. It's a very complicated situation, but she has just persevered through a lot and potentially has persevered herself right on the Solheim Cup team. Uh, that was our top tracer technology presented by Progressive Insurance, and the tracer says it goes dead to the right. Good size lipping right in front of her here. And so that's 173. Yeah, smart play. Yeah. Just plonk it out. Looks like that's about all she had. I'll try to get it up and down. She can't just hold location on that back right. Tough to get it close. There's a little slope to the right, but she carries it all the way back to that hole location, which she should, and it releases all the way long. This should release to the hole. This actually a pretty good shot there. Well played. <sighs> nope. She was up and out of that quick. She knew right away. Yeah, yeah you got to tell yourself, I've prepared for this moment. I've worked hard for this moment. I just have to execute the shots. And you try to simplify it as much as you can. That's the hard part. You try to slow things down. But Just a moment ago, up by one now, Megan Kang. And this is an aggressive play with this club. It really pinches in down past that bunker. That's not too aggressive when you hit it right up the mow line. <laughs> I mean, what a it's shot. Like 10 yards wide then, Morgan. I'm interested to see if she chooses to land this on top of that slope or leave it short of the slope that cuts about 10, 12 paces into the green. She had a lot of spin on it. Straight now, whatever that miss was on 13, way right. No problem. Well, right where you wanted to hit it, right where you said, Karen, hit it up that side. That's nicely done there. Oh, she's played for it. You see that little low shot? She's got a lot of tumble on this back on the front nine with one of those shots. Yeah, she did this yesterday. Yesterday had a putt for Eagle. And this one's pretty straightforward, Jim. I mean, you do have a little bit of fringe to carry, but plenty of green to use. Offs it up there and gets some. Yeah, I'm kind of skittered on her a little bit. Get in there. Oh, it wiggled right. Oh, that looked like that was going to fall on the right side there, Jim. It just... Uh, Jim Young Co's chip shot actually went right. Oh, a little more speed. That goes in. She's hitting some good putts that aren't falling. Well, and that's what you have to keep telling yourself, that law of averages, eventually those putts do start to fall. What are you doing, Megan? That's left. Be kind of trying to land it maybe a yard short on that up slope and get it to bounce up. Love that she took that deep breath right before she walked into this shot. Control your heart rate tends to spike in these moments. I think that'll be okay. Uh, you can. Uh -oh. I mean, right. In there, Megan Kang buries the par putt. So difficult to to get it to stay with fall offs on on all sides. Okay, it's a popular spot. Right here, Karen. She's hit a couple too far. 
I was going to say by doing this shows confidence. Boy, that was quick. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's just so it's such a big swing off that slope. She did not hit a poor shot. Has, she knew it was going to be a tough battle with the leaderboard she was up against. Oh, wow, she hit a good putt. Man, she had a good putt at 15, missed on the right side. It, it just hit that a little too firm. Like yesterday, playing for the very first time with the outright lead. And needs to settle it, settle herself down here, walking to the 18th. Finish at nine under Megan Tang. Massive tee shot at 18. And this okay. looks fantastic. She looked frustrated. That must have been the carryover from 17 because that is pipes. Yeah, she looks she looks a bit angry. Came in about 10 feet right of the flag. Let the slope do the work. Oh, what a shot from Megan Kang when she had to have it. Is that any good? Look at those eyes. Uh, and she did. Her putting stroke has looked beautiful this week. And just even the putt that she missed on 17 looked like it was going in. I think this playoff situation sets up well for her. She's a strong match play player. She likes that intensity that it brings. And what a response. Wait. Jack Kirkcaldy certainly was paying attention. And another outstanding shot from Megan Kang. I mean, this could be the absolute career changer for her. Oh, is that not going to hold on here? I was going to say that was almost the exact same shot she hit in regulation. Today, she kicks it down. Megan Kang wins her first LPGA title at the CPKC Women's Open in dramatic fashion.